Greetings! This is Chapter 5 out of 7 for the Learn to Ride a Skateboard Special Edition. Remember, all of this video can be seen on the internet entirely for free, or you can go to learntoridescapeboard.com and for a very low price you can purchase the DVD, or you can actually download the DVD as well, and that also is entirely free. Hope you enjoy Learn to Ride a Skateboard Special Edition. So this next piece uh, is basically a bunch of uh, interviews. It's a little intermission piece within uh, Learn to Ride a Skateboard where I show a bunch of different types of skateboarders. Because see, the one thing that really bothered me is the stereotype of skateboarding. That all skateboarders are basically, you know, white, middle class, teenage boys. And that's the image that people have. And it's so not true, especially if you're out in California. Prime example of that is the World Record Skateboard Parade. Which was amazing. You had people from all ages, all cultures got together to uh, celebrate, I would say celebrate our, our, our part in skateboarding. And uh, we got to skate down Venice two miles to the, uh, the I was gonna say hotel, sorry, high school. And um, it was amazing. It was such a great group of people together. And I mean, everyone and different types of skateboards, different, I mean, that's what I think yeah. skateboarding is, is, is the community of people that come together and you, the people that you get to meet and uh, mm -hmm. not one specific, uh, the cookie cutter looking skateboarder. So it's yeah. really cool. And so in being this is a learn to ride a skateboard video, that was something I really wanted to emphasize. You know, I'll, I'll be on the internet and I'll see people posting things, you know, parents who are helping, you know, their kids how to skate. They want to know a little bit more so they can help teach their children and they'll say, oh, you know, but I, you know, I'm, I'm 38. I'm too old to skate. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? You know, I know people personally who started skateboarding at the age of 42, never skated before in their life. You know, it and doesn't shred. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. Just if it's something you want to do, go out and do it. Don't fall for that stupid stereotype that it's just teenage boys because that's not what it's about, mm -hmm. as you will see from watching these interviews. Now, you know, the general public tends to have some really big misconceptions about what typical skaters are like. I mean, they tend to think that it's just like young males, and that's what they tend to see on television and things like that a lot. But if you're actually a part of the skateboarding community, you'll find that people who are involved are much different than that. And it's really cool. When I'm out there skating, I'll skate with somebody who's over 40 years old or somebody who's about 8 or 9 or 10 years old, and they're, whether they're a girl or a boy. And the really cool thing about skateboarding is when you're out there having fun, we're all the same age. In fact, let's talk to someone. Okay, my name is Patrick Musingo. My full name is Emirate Musingo. Oh, my name is uh, Tim Noel Reynolds. My name is Karen Gross. My name is Eric, AKA Tumor Britton. Um, 34 years old. 41 years old. I'm 13. 45 years old. I'm 43 years old. Although on the inside, I'm still 10. <laughs> I've been skating for about 22, 23 years. I've been skating about eight months or so, like a year almost. I skated ever since I was probably about, I don't know, eight or nine, on and off up to 43. I started skating 25, uh, 25 years ago. Started skating uh, when I was about nine or 10 years old. Occupation, um, I'm a professional skateboarder. I work as a physical therapist. My, my occupation is a student. My current job is uh, an interesting one. Uh, I've been doing freelance uh, web and flash animation and design and programming. Plumber. <laughs> I'm a plumber, yeah. <laughs> That's my work. When I was little, I always used to watch my dad like fool around on a skateboard or something like that, and I always was like so fascinated with it. I always wanted to learn it, but I was kind of too scared. And then about a year or so ago, I started to want to get into it because some of my friends were doing it. And so he just, in the parking lot of our apartment, he just got me a skateboard and we just started like cutting around. And, yeah. uh, some friends of mine that lived down the street had a small quarter pipe ramp. I didn't know anything about skating, so they taught me how to go up and down and kick turn up and down. Then the quarter pipe, we decided to build a half pipe, and then from there built a huge half pipe. My dad bought me um, a whammo 
skateboard. It was orange when I was about three years old. My earliest memories of me riding that thing is flying down this little courtyard driveway by my house, grabbing the rail and doing little hand down power slides. When I was about 12 or 13, my dad moved me out of the hood and into Santa Monica. I'm really glad that I, I, I got involved in skateboarding. You know, skateboarding saves lives, that's for sure. You know, there's a lot of other things I could have been involved in if I had grown up in a really bad neighborhood or didn't have skateboarding in my life. Um, I started skating with friends, just um, kids on the street. I started skating um, just to get to go someplace. That was, that was my mode of transportation, my skateboard. Uh, it would have been probably the Z-Boys back in the day, you know? If you ever saw the Dogtown movie, all the Z-Boys, they were all surfing and skating around here, so I used to hang at the beach and then I started skateboarding. My worst fail so far was probably at the skate park Pedlo when it was just this like little hill and I was trying to go down it and I leaned too far forward and I kind of, I guess I bruised my ribs or something and like I kept doing it and doing it not knowing that I was, get, it was making my ribs worse and worse and by the next day I was just like totally in pain. In a pool in Upland, California, the pipeline, I fell and for all the ligaments in my knee. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> I guess it would have been at Chino one time. I bailed out of a like a I don't know ten foot bowl and smacked my rib on the way down on the coping, and it was a busted rib for a couple of months. I've broken several bones, um, both both legs, both ankles several times, both wrists several times, my collarbone, and just. You know, over the years, tons and tons of damage has been done to my body. At 81, I was skating at uh, Lance Mountain's half pipe, and uh, we had just got done doing an interview with Lance about our half pipe, so he decided to bring us over to his. And I went up and did a uh, rock and roll and came back around and realized that my front foot wasn't there. And my front foot just spun around, or my ankle spun around and came back. And there's been bales where, you know, body slams and stuff, but nothing compared to that. I was out of it for at least six months. So. Probably one of my favorite sessions is probably right now when I just learned how to go over the little dome thing and carve around the little mini ramp. Carved around it all the way. It's cool. <laughs> Recently, it would have been called the Gravy Bowl up north in Santa Monica, here up in the Santa Monica Mountains. Me and all the boys had a pool for a couple of days and we got to skate, so that was one of my favorite sessions recently. When I was just a little grom and I had just gotten sponsored by Dogtown, it was the first time I had met like the legends, the people that I looked up to, you know, Tommy Guerrero and Christian Asoy and, and Steve Caballero, and they were all down here from up north. And we all went and skated this place called the Airport Banks. It used to be over by the LAX airport. It was a highlight of like the beginning of my career, just to be able to be involved with these people that I saw in the magazines and things like that. And I'm in the car next to them, driving around town with them, you know? It was like, puts a smile on my face as I'm talking about it, you know? It's like... When I was 10 and 11, skating the Marina Del Rey Skate Park, um, just really by myself or with a couple of friends, uh, skating with people like uh, like Tony Alva and people like Pat Noho and people like um, Steve Caballero and Scott Foss and stuff like that when they really weren't that good. I mean, everybody was on an equal level in 79 and in 80 and you know, having to get to see Christian Asoy when he was, you know, a little kid and just skating the little small stuff. The days where I was really naive about skateboarding and just having a blast, kind of like now. When I was 16, we went to um, a place in the Paramount, California. Um, they had clover pools, and there were six of us skating all at once. It was really fun. There was different sized pools, and we were riding and crossing and riding and crossing, and it was um, it was a lot of fun. My favorite would be bowl riding, anything cement, a backyard pool, um, a skate park pool, something with round walls. I like to bowl skate the most, but I'm trying to learn how to do these ollies and all that now because I guess if you're an old schooler like me, if you can't ollie, you can't skate. <laughs> you know, that's what all the youngsters tell me. I enjoy like vert skating, like going up ramps and going down hills. I just love the speed. I'm not really good at street skating because I haven't even like tried it yet. So hopefully I'll learn to like that too. The kind of skating I do now is kind of like the skating I did when uh, right before I quit is vertical. 
I still like the small mini ramp stuff because you can work things out. Uh, I don't like street skating. I get hurt street skating. I'll hit a pebble and I'll probably end up being out of it for a year. But uh, just like skating in this pool and hanging out with a bunch of you know guys my own age, it's a blast. The type of skating I like um, are skate parks. Um, street skating, not so much. Um, I prefer pools, half pipes, or mini ramps. Uh, my advice to new skaters is probably like learn how to fall and become good at learning how to fall because it's going to come really useful and just don't think about things, just go for it and yeah. Advice for new skaters, wear pads, at least a helmet. <laughs> uh, learn the basics, don't try to ollie first, learn how to kick turn, learn how to carve. You know, all that stuff will come in time. The advice I gotta give to anybody is learn the basics as in with anything. Going through life, you learn the basics first and then uh, everything else will come a lot easier. Don't get discouraged. Um, get comfortable riding on, on the flat ground first before you try any, any skate parks. Um, but don't get discouraged if you enjoy it, stick with it. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's great exercise. It's my yoga, I call it my yoga. And uh, just hang in there. Bend your knees. <laughs> don't get discouraged, you know. Um, don't give up. It's not something that's going to come easily. It's going to take a while. You're going to get injured. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's a dangerous sport, but it gives you something that, that a lot of other things can't give you. It, it really, it's an art form in a sense, and it, it kind of makes you feel good inside. It gives you a lot of accomplishment when you overcome you know, certain things that you've been trying to do for a long time and you finally make that breakthrough. So, you know, stand strong, skate hard, stay out of trouble, and support your local skateboarders and get your parents to go to the city councils and get more skate parks built and get your family involved in everything, you know. Skateboarding can be a family sport. It's not, it, it, it's got a stigma about a bad boy, you know, or but it's not, it's really a positive thing for kids to be involved in. Oh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, yeah, Santa Monica Airlines, SMA, SMA. It's the Eric Britton model. Check it out, www.santamonicaairlines.com. Um, and all the people that paved the way for me, thank you. And so how about you, Holly? How long have you been skating? I've been skating since the early 90s, about 93. That's cool, and uh, occupation? A professional skateboarder. And how did you get started with skating? I got into skateboarding because um, one of my sister's friends was dating a professional skateboarder and it was just a house full of guys and they had a mini ramp you know, in their garage and they skated all the time and we were a group of girls so we naturally just started hanging out over there. We started watching them skate, I always thought it was really cool and I wanted to learn so two of the guys hooked me up with some skateboards, some t-shirts and that's how I got into it. That's cool, so what's like one of the worst fails that you've had? Um, I've had a lot. I've had a lot. <laughs> And um, so I don't know which one's my worst. I'd say I broke my navicular bone and had a cast up to um, almost my armpit. I was knocked out for 10 minutes and had a contusion in my brain where my brain swelled up. Um, I've torn my ACL and had surgery there. I've torn my MCL twice on my right knee. Broke multiple bones in both hands. Chronic back pain. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I love skateboarding. I wouldn't take back any of them because it's it's a lot of fun and your body heals and I'm still strong and I'll keep going. What's like one of the most fun sessions that you've had, like looking back, you know, what's one that really stands out and you really remember? Um, I loved skating in Truckee a lot. I had a lot of just really good times hanging out with my friends, skating that park. And also the Encinitas YMCA uh, Bowl is a lot of fun. Just some really great sessions, amazing skating that goes on there because some of the best, you know, pro skaters and older skaters skate there all the time and so I mean it's just it's a lot of fun. And so what like type of skating, what style of skating do you like the most? Uh, I love transition. Just anything with tranny, bowls, vert, uh, ramps, um, anything where you just flow. I think it's like a controlled roller coaster and it feels really good to me. How about like advice for new skaters, you know, like what would you tell new kids who are starting out? My advice to somebody if they're just starting out learning is do it because it's for you, because you love it, you know, it's a passion that you have and it's a drive that you have, you know, that you just, you really enjoy doing it, you know, it's something that, it's not about being sponsored, it's not about other people, it's not about anything, just it's something that you have an innate desire to do. 
All right, so hey, Eric, how long have you been skating for? I started in 87, and this video is being shot in uh, May of 2007. So in September, it'll be 20 years. That's really cool. What got you into skating? I was a really, really bad freestyler. <laughs> and uh, I was really into BMX freestyle, and I spent like that whole summer in 87 being BMX freestyle, and I was really, really bad. And finally, I just got frustrated, and I was trying to ride ramps and things like that, and I was really bad at it. So I was like, you know, maybe a skateboard would be easier. And um, it turns out that in a lot of ways, skateboarding is still really hard, but it was easier in the sense that, like, at least if I fell on the ramp, I didn't have a 30-pound bicycle landing on top of me. True. So uh, that was one of the ways that I really got into it. That's cool. So do you ride bulls and do airs now? No, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. So what's your occupation? Actually, to make a living, I do um, programming, mostly for uh, websites and internet stuff. So what's your worst bail? Um, about a year ago, I was at a skate park that was um, really, really slippery. And I was on a simple mini ramp. The board slipped out, and I landed in the flat bottom on my elbow and uh, dislocated it. <gasps> Ow. Which, um, doesn't tickle. No. So what's your favorite session or the most fun you've ever had skating? One of the like in the first year that I started or maybe the second year. And you know sometimes when you're skating with your friends like it's just you get one of those days where everybody is doing really good. And it was one of those days when we were in this little parking lot that was near my house. There was like 10 of us and everybody was just like ripping it up and do like everything everybody tried they could pull off. And it was just so much fun and I remember just, you know, getting so stoked on what I was doing and then, you know, friends getting stoked off of each other and seeing kids pull stuff that they'd never done before. It was just, it was really weird that it turned out that way, but that was one of the most fun sessions I think I ever had. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of skating do you enjoy most? Um, the type of skating that I enjoy most is definitely like, you know, pools and transitions and things like that because I mean, that's something that I always wanted to do, and when I was growing up, we didn't have like bowls, and we didn't have pools. We were basically like street skaters who were wannabe pool skaters. So I would spend a lot of time like riding banks and things like that, and I'd be doing like tail slides across banks because it was like the closest I could get to carving a transition. And um, yeah, that's really the stuff I like riding the most now. That's cool. What's your advice that you'd give to someone who's starting out? My advice to them, there's just really two things that it comes down to. Is Make sure you're always having fun. That's really what it's all about. And the second one is to just, you know, be tenacious and don't give up and keep on trying because you're going to fall, you're going to get hurt, and it's really difficult to learn some of this. So you just got to stick with it. Yeah, that's good advice. 